Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make a tulle hair bow using this Pixie Dot Craft Supplies wooden template. As you can see on this template, it's got two ends. One is to make a four inch bow and one is to make a three inch bow. I'm going to be showing you how to make a bow using tulle fabric, but you could also use this to make a ribbon bow. So keep an eye out on my channel and I will at some point do a tutorial using this with ribbon as well. So you can see how you can make those with this as well. So this is the tulle fabric and it comes as six inches wide. Now, obviously this will be too wide to make a four or three inch bow. So as a rule, I kind of square it off. So if I'm making a four inch bow, I will chop this down to four inches wide. And if I'm making a three inch bow, I will chop it down to three inches wide. So to do that, I've got my tape measure here. I just unravel the tool and measure four inches across. Just bring it up so you can see. So measure to four inches across. And I'm just gonna pop a cut in there where the four inch mark is. And then I can remove my tape measure. And then using my board as a guide as to get a straight line. So I've lined my cut up. Sorry, I'll have to bring it up again. So I've lined this cut up with this line here, any line, it don't matter just so I can cut this now all the way down and in a straight line. Now the length you want to cut this depends on how sheer you want your bow. So if you want it fairly sheer, you won't need to do so many layers, but if you like it to be quite opaque, then you will need more layers. So if I'm doing a four inch bow, I'm going to cut it to 28 inches in length at four inches wide. So I'm going to continue cutting this now. So I've got my length of tool here now, which is four inches wide and 28 inches in length. And now I'm going to start wrapping this around my template. So I start lining it up to the outer edge. And then start wrapping it around the template making sure that it is nice and straight and even as I'm wrapping it round and then once you've finished wrapping it round I've got a needle here threaded with some strong thread and a knot in the end I'm going to start sewing in the pinch. Now, as you can see, this gap in the middle doesn't go all the way up. So I just start sewing in the pinch to halfway and then slide it down and then continue sewing. So going in through the top, first of all, I'm going to go in quite narrow because as you can see where I haven't cut it quite straight, it does just sometimes happen. It's very hard to cut it straight. So I'm going to put my needle in here so I can see that I've caught all of those layers. So that's my first stitch and then I'm going to come back up from the bottom, back in through the top and I'm going to do that all the way along the middle. I'm leaving around sort of just over half a centimetre between each stitch. So just going in through the top and back up from the bottom, all the way up the middle as far as you can go in that slip part so that's about as far as i can go so far so i'm going to slide this down now so i can reach up to the rest of the fabric so coming back up through the bottom back in through the top now I should be able to fit about three more on here you want to make sure that on your last stitch you are coming up from the bottom through to the top so this one is going to be my last stitch coming up from the bottom to the top Again, I've made sure I've gone through this bit here because this is where I've got all of the layers. There's a couple of little overhangs here. 
So all together I've done 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 stitches on there. Now I can slide this completely off and before I pull this tight to form the pinch, I'm going to trim off those overhang pieces of fabric. So I don't know if you can see very well, but you can just see the see-through bits where they're not quite even. So this will just make it nice and even and straight along those sides. The same with the other end, making sure you don't cut past the stitching. We're just trimming off these ends just to straighten them out. And now we've got those all straight, we can now pull this tight to form that pinch. And then once I've got it pulled tight, I'm going to wrap this around that centre a few times. And then on the underside, I'm just going to catch the tulle fabric, just a little bit of it. Go through once. And then on the second go, I'm not going to pull it completely tight. I'm just going to go through this loose loop a couple of times to form a knot. So it will hold it all in place and I can trim off the excess thread. And now we're ready to add a clip and then we're going to wrap around the centre. I've got this double pronged 45 millimetre hair clip. You can use any clip, you can add this to a headband, whatever you like. And I struggled actually to figure out what colour to wrap this in because this tool is like a pinkish red and I didn't really have a ribbon to match. So I've just gone for a hot pink because I'm going to be using this lovely glitter to wrap around the centre because in this glitter, I've got pinks, reds, whites, all different colours, so I thought this would work really well. So I'm going to add this to the bottom of my bow now. So I'm just going to stick that on the underside. And then taking this lovely glitter fabric, I'm going to cut a little strip around a centimetre wide by around five centimetres in length. I just do this by eye. And then I'm just going to pop some glue on one end and stick it under the clip, making sure that it is central to the bow. And then I'm going to start bringing it around the center. I am going to add a little bit of glue just over that stitching, just to make sure that that keeps covered because obviously I did use white stitching and I don't want that to show. So I'm going to trim off the excess and then finish sticking this down underneath the clip. And there is the finished perfect tool bow using the wooden bow template from Pixie Dot Craft Supplies. Everything that I've used in this video, I will link in the description below so you can check these out. If you just press on the title of the video, that will bring up the description with all of the links. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you press the bell button, that will turn on notifications. I'll be back again soon. Bye.